Yo guys, welcome to another video today. Got another review for you guys, and I think you guys kind of expected this one. It's one course meal, so it's very controversial. Like one, uh, uh, are you happy now? Um, I'll also review that, so go watch that. Uh, but anyway, one course meal. So the plot starts out with a pretty good scene with Plankton and uh, Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob fighting. So. Plankton comes with a hang glider and uses a bubble against Spongebob. I kind of thought that was Spongebob's thing, but there you go. Checks him against, uh, I guess, Spongebob being used as a pea cannon. And his uh, bubble pops, he drops a missile and it turns into this massive metal arm. Who grabs Mr. Krabs and Spongebob. And then he starts to tickle them with a feather to get where the Krabby Patty formula is. Um... So I guess it's kind of emulating a harsher form of torture, I guess. But my problem with this is, I mean, Spongebob comes straight out of it, it's behind the photo, but Plankton already knew this. He knew this ages ago. He knows it's there. Like, that's just stupid. Anyway, Pearl comes in, and Plankton starts to freak out, and he's like, Get your daughter away from me. He knows that's Mr. Krabs' daughter, so he hasn't... He knows who it is. Like, it just seems stupid to me. They've probably met before and, you know, it's just silly. Anyway, he runs away. And uh, we get probably the biggest talking point of this episode, which is the suicide joke. Mr. Cra uh, I mean, Plankton throws himself in a road and waits for a bus to come. It's pretty disgusting. I don't think they were going for that, but literally it came out like that. They had to look at that again because that is not good. And they kind of did it, related it in a later episode called The Great Paddy Capper, where a bus hits him and he says, Oh, now it's on time. I'm not sure if that's a reference to One Course Meal, but this joke here is just disgusting. It's exactly like. Uh, are you happy now? But that was two suicide jokes, so there you go. Anyway, we get a bit of filler, all this stuff, and the uh, plankton scared and everything. And Mr. Crab dresses up as Pearl, scaring him and everything. And then at the end, Mr. Uh, SpongeBob tells Plankton what uh, Mr. Crab's is, uh, like scary thing is, and it's like this guy. I I don't know what they're called, but they're like. They move their hands around, and I don't know. I actually don't know. But anyway, that scares Mr. Krabs. I don't know what they're called. And yeah, the episode ends. So, yeah, this is a bad episode. Uh, straight away, yeah. Um, the suicide joke. The plot to me doesn't even make sense. Cause surely he's met Pearl before. And he knows that's Mr. Crab's door, so he must off. And, um, 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 filler. Filler as well. Um, all of these things are so bad in this episode. Like, it just feels like they come up, they can't come up with a decent plot. But, you know, in the Sandcastle War episode, they can. It's just once a year they can, you know? It's just, it's not a good episode, guys. Like, if you want to watch it, go ahead. The suicide joke is so obvious. I mean, you know, kids probably don't know that, but, you know, if kids do, then, you know, that's not very good. Anyway, that's my final review, a bad episode, and I'll see you guys.